Live from the ABC7 Broadcast Center, this is ABC7 News at 11 on your side. First at 11, a witness to a disturbing crime tells us about the gunfire and moments later describes seeing his neighbor running from a home with a little girl. Those terrifying moments played out in a neighborhood in Fort Washington. Now what followed was a police chase and then the unthinkable, a father killing his three-year-old daughter. Tonight, police are trying to figure out why. Jay Korf now live at Prince George's Police Headquarters tonight. Jay, what did you find out? Well, Leon, according to court records, this little innocent girl appeared to be caught in a battle far beyond her control. So I heard the pop. I heard the shot. For Carl watching the crackle of gunfire coming from the home of a longtime friend and neighbor in Fort Washington on Saturday came as a great shock. To hear that happen was really tragic. Watson says he then watched as a man ran from this house with a little girl, got into a car and took off. Prince George's County Police say that man was 38-year-old Frederick Miller of Landover. They say he took his three-year-old daughter Layla from the home of her maternal grandfather and great-grandmother. But they say before leaving, he shot and critically wounded them. During the ensuing police chase and gun battle that was partially caught on camera, Miller was killed. When police approached Miller's car, they discovered Layla in the back seat, suffering from a gunshot and stab wound, injuries that claimed her life. Now police say her autopsy shows that her father, not police, killed the little girl. This man shot two family members and then killed his three-year-old daughter. I'm grateful that our officers were there to be able to stop him before he hurt anyone else. Authorities believe the shooting stemmed from a long-standing custody and child support battle between Miller and Layla's mother. In fact, more than a third of the homicides in the county this year stemmed from domestic violence. County leaders say more needs to be done. We want to say to every man and woman listening to us this morning, we need you. Uh, we need your involvement as we seek to strengthen our family. Get in your kid's life. Stay close to them. And I can't comprehend what would make him do something like that. As for the investigation into the shootout, authorities here in Prince George's County tell us that those six officers involved have been placed on routine administrative leave. Live in Palmer Park, Jay Korf, ABC 7 News. All right, Jay, thank you.